Patty. So every year, my friends and I bowl for the uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters Bowl for Kids' Sake. Um, we're terrible, terrible bowlers, but we're usually among the top fundraisers. This year, we got a late start. So as an incentive to get people to give us more money more quickly, I said I would do the Fuego Box Choco Challenge if we raised enough to match a big to a little, which is $1,200. $1,400 is what we earned. It's taken me a while because I also managed to get laryngitis this year and had to go to a conference, but I am here finally in my Bowl for Kids Sake shirt to do the Choco Challenge because I keep my word. Um, I'm generally somebody who does like hot spicy food. Um, it's a place in the region that used to make a chocolate with ghost pepper dusted peanuts in it that I really enjoyed and ate voluntarily on several occasions. Um, I expect this to be worse, but I have milk, I have yogurt, I have Kleenex. I have hand wipes in case I actually touch the chocolate, which I'm going to try to avoid doing. So, um, this also raises money for prostate cancer awareness and um, research, so that's good. Um, but lest anybody think I'm doing it just because I keep promises and just because um, of altruism, there's also a chance of winning um, a year's worth of hot sauce. So I don't want you to all to think that there isn't a mercenary aspect to this. So I expect this to hurt. I expect it to be worse than trying Malort, which I also did because I promised. So here we go. Oh yeah, this hurts. Holy shit. This motherfucker hurts. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this is painful. Um, it's going to get worse, I know. Holy shit. Uh, so I'm definitely loco for trying this. Uh, holy shit. Hot motherfuckers. Not so hot that I couldn't taste the chocolate. The chocolate was pretty good, and there's a little salt on one side of it, which was a nice touch. Um, without the peppers, this would be fucking delicious. Um... <laughs> uh, my husband said he couldn't believe I was going to do this, and I told him, well, it sounds exactly like something I would do. And he said, well, it sounds like something uh, 20 years ago you would have done, but here I am. My mother, who does not watch or eat hot food, was giving me advice which is hilarious because I'm 50 years old and my mother's still going to mother me because that's what moms do. But she told me I needed five gallons of milk because uh, Shaq did it and he's five times my size. Looking at me through those mother's eyes because I, I, I'm not a large person. I'm quite short, but um, it, I, I'm, I'm not only a fifth the size of Shaq, but she wanted me to have five gallons of milk. I don't think I'm going to need that much, but um, I will say this is um, not the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I will say this for my friend Nathan, I would probably rather have another shot of my lord, and that shit is nasty. Uh, this isn't nasty. This just hurts. <laughs> oh, man. Thank God I got all my reading and writing and grading done earlier today because 
There is just no way I'm going to be able to handle doing anything. Except for drinking milk and eating yogurt. Because, uh, whoa, that's a fierce. Uh, what's really bad for those of you who do like hot foods but aren't so stupid that you would do this even to keep a promise um, it's alright but after a while when the sting comes back and you breathe in and you kind of inhale all that heat whew, that is just some nasty nasty pain not a nasty taste. So I'll be drinking milk. I bought some chocolate milk because I figured if I survived this, I deserved some fucking chocolate milk. My grandfather would have approved. I've got some yogurt. I've got some ice cream. Like I said, I really, really enjoy very, very hot food. But this, I, I did not enjoy this I did not enjoy. So anyway, let's hear it for the kids. Go Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's a great organization. Let's hear it for Fuego for doing this thing to raise money for the Prostate Cancer uh, Research Foundation. Um... Let's hear it for me for being, for proving that being a well educated person doesn't mean you're not an idiot. So I'm going to spend my evening drinking milk, and I'm sure y'all don't want to watch that, but um, cheers. <laughs>